money makes the mission possible. The worker mm-hmm. deserves their wages and mm-hmm. you have to respect yourself and your time and your expertise by charging. Um, all money is like the money has to be thought about as something different too. Mm-hmm. Here's what money really is in society. Money is proof of work. Mm, money, money like is that. money is proof that you have put in the time. And like when I, when you come to me and you say, like for example, I have seventeen acres on the other side of my lake. I got a lake behind my house on my property, and then I have seventeen acres on the other side wow. of the lake. So I'm getting ready to have someone come twice a year. I have someone mow uh, on the oh. other side. Okay, so what happens usually is, is I'll put it out on social media and I'll take bids uh, to come mm. do this. They got to like but bush hog it and cut it all down. Yeah, I'll get all kinds of range of things, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll have somebody will come in and they'll say, you know, two thousand dollars, or somebody will come in and they'll say like thirty five hundred or four. And as I talk to these people, here's what inevitably I always figure out: the people that charge a higher price have better equipment and have done better, bigger, and more experienced jobs. Mm. And the price that they're trying to charge me is the proof that they have the experience, the better equipment, and the work. You are this. You've done this. You went to Duke University, one of the top oh. colleges in the United States. Like Thank that you. is your price is a proof that you have done that. That's all it is. It's not a I'm trying to gouge someone. It's hey, look, you can go talk to other people. Or you can talk to Kimmy, who got this person into their best school, who went to Duke University, who's done this for a living. Like, it's just proof that you've done the work up to this point to to honor that price, right? And you know what? You're actually very right when you say that sometimes when, especially with a lot of things going on in your life and you're doing it for free and you get to that point where it's not really a gone out, but it's like sometimes or... You, you kind of like get to a point where you're not so consistent with it because you do want to help people, but it's like, sometimes your time is just like your time. It's like your time is value also. It is and very so, valuable. And yes. so, yes, of course, like there are times where I'm just like, I really cannot do it. And, um, yeah, but, but, I, but if someone pays for it, Exactly. Then we, we have we have agreed to exchange you, time. Exactly. There's like an exchange time where they're putting all the effort. You're not doing things for free. Like you're not and olden them. If they can't invest, like people who pay, pay attention. People who don't, won't. Like you'll get a, a success story every once in a while. Like there's people in our community who in the beginning I helped for free. And mm. some of, and like the, the, 99.9% of them don't do it. But like there's, there's one or two cases where I'm like, hey, I'm, you joined my community, you paid something, but I'm going to get more involved than I usually do right now because I, I know this is going to be a testimonial, right? Yeah. So there's one or two of those you can get, but most people, if they don't invest in the training or coaching, they won't even go do the thing. Right. So it's like they're going to fail more often if you give it to them for free than if you had charged them. Definitely. So it's not good for the coach. It's not good for the student or the, or the client. And if you really want to get the maximum results where everyone is invested, then you've got to charge and you got to charge a premium. 